Let's say I need to figure out the speed and feed for a tap I'm about to load into my machine. And I also need to do the same for an end mill that I'll be adding to my program. The calculator function on the NGC control makes this work easy. We'll start off with this half 13 tab here. We press current commands and navigate over to the calculator tab. And then move to the tapping tab. My tap has 13 threads per inch, of course, or 13 TPI. I enter that here. Next, I enter my spindle speed for the tapping operation. I'm going to choose 1200 RPM. And the calculator gives me the inch per minute feed rate of 92.3077. So now that I've got these two values, I can be assured that the rotational speed versus the downward feed rate will be perfectly synchronized to cut these half 13 threads just right. Next, let's get the values for this 5 8 carbide end mill. I'll press current commands again to move back to the tab above and I'll arrow to the milling tab. I'm just going to enter the information I'm sure of to begin with. I enter 0.625 diameter. And it's a four flute end mill, so I'll enter that here. That's the basic stuff. Now, I want a recommendation for surface speed and chip load. And in order for the control to give me that, I need to tell it what material I'm using. I'll be cutting some regular mild steel. So I arrow down to the work material field and select low carbon steel. I also need to make sure my tool material is correct. So I'll change that to carbide. I'll play a conservative and go with 500 feet a minute and that sets my spindle RPM to 3056, which I'll probably round up to 3100 when I put it in the program. Next, I'll set my chip load inch per tooth value on the lower end as well at 4 thou per tooth. This gives me a feed rate of 48.896, which I can round up to 49 inches per minute. Now, it probably doesn't need to be said, but just in case, Remember that when you calculate feed rates for milling cuts, you can adjust either the feed or RPM values a little, like I plan to do here, rounding up the values. And this won't affect how that milling operation cuts. But when you calculate the feed rate for a tapping operation, you need to use the exact RPM and feed rate values as entered and calculated in order for the thread pitch to come out correctly. Also, if I want to know the approximate power required for the cut I just calculated, I just need to go down here and enter the width and depth of the cut in these fields here, and that gives me the horsepower requirement. Now that I'm confident I have good starting values for both my tap and end mill, I can get them entered in my program and be ready to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>